speak. You know I don't like using these things. They're listening. Then make it quick. That business thing's been set up. The Chinese guy, Mr. Chang, is at the inn. You said that on the phone? What the fuck is wrong with you, damn it, Ron? Now I'm gonna have to discipline you and you know how I feel about that. Trevor, you're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. <laughs> He's one, ban him. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? Anyway, I Whoa. saved your husband. Now get me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay, but any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Mr. Phillips. Ah, here he is. Yes, Mr. Chang, pleasure to meet oh, you. No, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang now. <laughs> You all speak Spanish, speak it to each other! Mr. Tao Chung is uh, pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh, yeah, he seems it. What's wrong with him? I'm out. No, don't go! Please! I beg you, if you go, his father kill me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't, but we hear that Trevor Phillips Corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out, we partner, make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing! Well, let me show you the operation. This is us. You can't get here quick enough. The Aztecas are coming. They think you took out Ortega. They ain't mistaken. Well, get down here and take them out, too. You sure your boss don't want this crank for his own personal consumption? No, no. Mr. Cheng Sr. is very specific. He wants a good, reliable source of methamphetamine. We will buy from you here and distribute using established networks. Trevor, we ain't got long. Whoa, 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 whoa. manner, chef. These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. <laughs> Chang and his humble servant. Hey, Lao uh, Shung. <laughs> nice to meet you. Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right. Gentlemen, please, come check out the storage facilities. Go on. Nice, right? Oh, there <laughs> Apple room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out! No. So far. Tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Help. Yes, chef. Help me! If I knew we were having visitors, what is that, a little spring clean? Ortega has always been cool with us before. Say 
ain't done until they're all gone! We gotta do something that's through the gate! Rude, motherfuckers! Hey, motherfuckers! They're coming in on the left! They got the whole contingent here! made this personal! Oh. Oh. Oh, you cocksuckers! Woo! I'm starting to think they really want to kill me! They're coming around back! Chest. Yeah, all right, time to recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> Woo Woo. I think we have seen quite enough. Uh, I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! Okay. What's going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damaged my stuff, huh? They smash up my home. Damage my soul. 
this, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic, midlife, crisis, hog-riding, shaven-headed, fruity leather, chap-wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor, they are. They're chap-wearing assholes. Wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. <laughs> Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45, find him. Los Santos, it's a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. all right? That's better. Run along. Now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. I gotta swing by ammunition. Go to Sandy Shores Airfield, check it out. Come in your ear when I get a hold of you. Oh, what are you buying at the gun shop? I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high power scope. They say they support local business. Well, we're about to find out if that's true. Melvin, how you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries, ammunition. That's the rifle I need. She'll do nicely. Now I need a scope and a suppressor. They won't hear me coming. All right, now stop selling weapons to that half-wit Cletus. I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are. Did I get it wrong? I'm waiting at the water tower. I'm up here. I don't see the hardware. But I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. I'm up the tower, Trevor. You get a better view from the top. We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. The time is right. Go on, my son. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Trevor? You see me? You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? They got a guard at the bottom of those steps! Under the control tower? Good kill, Trevor. Hurry it up, Ronnie. You hear that? I can hear an engine. They'll see that body. Quick, shoot out the lights on the tower above him. Come on, man.
There's one, and there's the other. You got him! Now don't shoot the guy in the van until he stops and gets out. All fire! We gotta see what he's up to. I think he's just calling the dead guy. You can erase him now! He's out! You can put him down! If the man wants to pay his respect... You should have seen the look on his face! There's a guy coming out of the control tower! Take him out! Shit! You gonna take him? This ain't a joke! He's gotta go! He's gotta go! So long, sailor! Oh no! Bottom of the tower! Another guy's on his way! He's down there, amongst the bodies! Okay, I'll get to him. Clean shot, Trev. There's another guy at the top of the tower. He's probably looking for his buddy. He's gonna see us! Woo! Down he goes. Get your sights back on me, Trev! I'm scared! You're in my crosshairs again! And there's no one left to kill, so get over to that gas tank and plant the bomb! I'm on it, but there's a guy coming out of that building, I think. I can hear him. Someone's coming out the far door, man! Shoot! The guy had a buddy in the building! He's coming out! Good kill, Trevor! Load it up with crap. 
great, Trevor! Just like you said! The rest of the guns must be on the plane down the end of the runway. Let's go, Ronald! This kind of hardware is gonna go. And they are? Up north to our Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or their other neighbors, those in the south, our Mexican brethren. I assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, because of where you used to operate, weren't you pulling scores at North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure I was. Shipment successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. thing, but leave that to me, Rod. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce, 
And my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might. Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both. What's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, Oscar, what's up? Oh, I'm keeping it tranquilo, bro, you know. I mean, demand is crazy down south, man. Crazy. Yeah, well, you know, the feds are not supplying the arms to the Mexican criminals, so someone's got to step it. Oh, yeah, they need guns, bro. So many guns. But luckily for us, they're easily acquired up here. Yeah, well, that's our freedom's gift to the world, right? You American? Man, I didn't even know. Anyway, shit, it's gonna be profitable for the both of us. But completion is tough, bro. To control the market down there, uh, we gotta control supply up here. We got a couple local contracts to help us out stateside. So this plane is loaded with their shipments. You make a couple drops, you come back here. Uh, you know, they say that the American industry is suffering, but uh, you and I, <laughs> we got a good export story. Ah, okay. Ah, I'll be on the radio, man. That's great. There you are, handsome. Hello, Mark. 
How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone, about to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, it's one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file. I really feel we're close to a breakthrough, Ron. I hope so, Trevor. I really do. But I'm a little worried. Of course you are. I mean, we've been here before, on the cusp of a big deal. Then, well... Well, what, Ron? Nothing. No, not nothing. What? What? Don't make me say it a third time. Well, someone always upsets you. And... So you're saying I'm too sensitive for this career path? Exactly! You're a tortured soul! That's just what I meant. You know, I think you may be right there. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite <laughs> Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. This Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? I'm not at liberty to say... Oh, no, 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 you're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. Who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's going to have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Trevor Phillips. Elwood O'Neill. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Trevor, it's business. That wide-eyed idiot was mine. It's business, Bella. You want to discuss it? We're at the farm. Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. Start writing those names on tombstones, because I'm on the way to your lab, and we're going to see how much of a family meth business you got when I'm done! <sighs> They're dead, all of them, inbred hillbilly twats. I just spoke to that maniac, Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it. But I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse. It's fucking Trevor fucking Phil. Whoops. I'll kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Get your own fucking business. Time. You get out this property. You're a dead man. Keep him. Let's see if we can't cut you down to size. Dim wit shithead. You gonna die in this cookhouse. You assholes. Hey, fuck you. Go home. All right, you win. You can have the contract. We ain't got the ambition, man. We went wrong, okay? You made a bad call. I don't know how many of my brothers you smoked, but you. Well, look at this. I'm gonna burn it to the ground. Mr. Spot! Smell those fumes! Yeah, you only yourselves to blame. No! 
nothing but a smoldering fucking wreck. You disrespectful pricks! <laughs> 